between my buck and my does. Um, so unless you are keeping your goats as pets, breeding is an absolute necess necessity, especially if you're using them for milk as we are in our case. Um, now these guys, these are my pets, okay? These are my kids from two years ago, obviously no longer kids. Kids are baby goats. Um, they're full grown. Um, this one is Dottie. This is Cowboy. This is Sister. That's Batman and that's Baby. Okay, so these guys are for my enjoyment only, especially when they eat my clothes. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, these guys, I could stand out here all day with these guys. They have the greatest personalities. They're really sweet. Um, and so that's why these guys are my, are my pets. I couldn't part with any of them. So, so these are my does. This is Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Um, these girls gave me a ton of delicious milk uh, two years ago when they kitted the ones that you just met. Um, uh, but now I'm running out. So I didn't have to breed last year, but they will be bred this year because I am running out. You can visit my site, which I will link to uh, below the video to see how we acquired these girls. Um, but they are just the sweetest and uh, great personality. Does go into heat um, anywhere from September through February several times. And they go into heat about every 18 to 21 days. Signs of them being in heat include anything from excessive tail wagging, um, they'll allow other goats to mount them, they will mount other goats, um, and then if there's a buck nearby, she will do everything she can to get to them. Believe me, the amount of times I've had to chase these girls back into their pen because the buck is pretty close, they can see each other. Goats are pregnant for about 150 days or five months. Um, so because of the unpredictable spring times in Colorado, I usually breed in December so I can have late April, early May babies, uh, kids, if you will. Um, and then that way allows the kids to also grow up in the really nice Colorado summers. Uh, in order for you to breed uh, does, uh, they have to be in good health. Okay, They have to be trim and they also have to be in good shape. Fat goats will not breed. I'll get more into nutrition in a little bit, but there's someone you have to be for. This is my handsome boy, Guabo. This is our buck, okay? His full story is on my site as well, which again is linked below. Everything bad you have heard or know about goats is courtesy of this guy. In order for a buck to breed, he has to go into rut, which he does around the same time the does are in heat. Rut signs include urinating on the back of their legs, on their faces, and in their mouth. This causes them to stink bad. Does do not stink. Let me say that again, does do not stink. Bucks do, and only during rut. The bucks also flap their tongues and almost make a blubbering noise along with lip raising during rut. The does find this behavior extremely sexy and irresistible. Keeping a buck has advantages and disadvantages. They have to be housed separately from females. You need strong fencing and the smell can be overwhelming sometimes. For us, the advantages outweighed the disadvantages. We have plenty of space, so the housing was not an issue, and our neighbors are far enough away, his smell doesn't bother anyone. It was more important to us to have a quality buck, know his exact temperament and health issues, and know exactly what kind of diet he is on. There are two options for breeding. You can allow goats to date or live together. During rut, our does and buck live together. This ensures breeding and what is best for our lifestyle. I pride myself in running our ranch as natural as possible. As much as I would love to stay out here all day, I have other responsibilities. So I try to stay out of their business as much as possible unless I'm absolutely needed. Okay, I think Guapo is ready for his ladies. Let's see how this goes. For this part, I asked my husband, Mark, to lead Guapo into the girls uh, pin. Um, as I said before, he stinks. And so if he rubs on you as he is with Mark right now, uh, Mark's going to get pretty stinky, so thanks, honey. Uh, so right away you can tell that Guapo is really interested in the girls. Uh, you can tell he's making those blubbering noises, um, and, he, and he's just kind of trying to mark them, see who's in heat and who's not. Uh, the girls might take a little bit to get used to him. It's just been those three for a while, so they might take a little bit uh, before they accept him. And they might not be in heat right now either. Right now, guapo and the mama's uh, diet consists of foliage, high quality grain, as well as high quality hay with alfalfa in it. They also have 24 hour access to vitamins and minerals. Um, I give them sunflower seeds 
as well as they have baking soda at their discretion as well, and that helps in uh, digestion. Sometimes they do get treats, uh, which include veggies and fruits and herbs, but for the most part, they're on their pretty strict diet um, because ultimately we do want them to breed high quality goats. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, in just five short months, we're gonna have adorable little kids. I can't wait to show you. Go. Okay. So right now, guapo and the mama's diet consists of high quality alfalfa. Uh, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. For homemade products made at this ranch, visit AmericanCountryEssentials.com, which is linked below.